Hello guys. So in this video, we will be studying about Guillain-Barre syndrome. A Guillain-Barre syndrome is a condition in which the immune system of a person attacks its own nerves. The condition can be because of the viral or a bacterial infection. The nervous system or the part of the nervous system which is mainly attacked by the Guillain-Barre syndrome is the peripheral nervous system which results in the weakening of the muscular system, the muscular atrophy and the muscle weakening is usually started from the hands as well as and the legs. Sometimes problems in the immune system can be because of the bacterial infections or there are various other reasons which can be the results of the Guillain-Barre syndrome. It may be because if the surgery has went wrong or if the person is diagnosed with different vaccination or if the vaccination is not provided properly. In this picture you can see the various risk factors and the problem which are caused during the Guillain-Barre syndrome to a particular patient. In a Guillain-Barre syndrome the nerve myelin sheath is mainly damaged. Myelin sheath is the outer sheath which usually covers an axon so the syndrome mainly attacks on the nerves and the damages the myelin insulation. The main symptoms of this syndrome are the tingling sensations or there might be sometime tingling along with the pain. Numbness, a person cannot feel any sensation in his arms or the legs or it may usually affect the pain in the head as well as in the neck and also the irritations in the linings of the brain. In this picture it is usually shown that the affected nerve and the normal nerve the Guillain-Barre syndrome may also affect the cranial nerves which usually supplies the head and the neck resulting in the weakness of the muscles of the face. The muscles in the face usually gets weakened as a result of which the facial expressions are difficult to make. It results in difficult in swallowing. It results in weakening of the eye muscles. In 8% of the affected population in the world, the person with Guillain-Barre syndrome the disease affects only the legs and the bladder muscles. There are other signs and symptoms which are present in Guillain-Barre syndrome. These are usually the respiratory failures. The respiratory failures usually means a person undergoes a respiratory tract infection in the upper respiratory pathway. Autonomic dysfunctioning. Autonomic dysfunctioning refers to the heartbeat stops or irregular heartbeats. The reactivity of pupil changes that the pupil cannot understand whether to contract or to dilate. So how is the Guillain-Barre syndrome caused? In 30% of the population, it is caused by a viral bacteria, sorry. It is caused by a bacteria called as the Campylobacter jejuni, whereas in 10% of cases, it is caused by a virus known as the cytomegalovirus. There are some other viruses which can also be the cause of the Guillain-Barre syndrome. This involves the Dengue virus and the Zika virus. In this video and in this photo, you can see the various different types of viruses which usually affect or which are mainly the cause of the Guillain-Barre syndrome. Now coming on to the diagnosis of GBC, GBS, that how Guillain-Barre syndrome is diagnosed or how you can come to know that a person is suffering from Guillain-Barre syndrome. The first portion is the lumbar puncture. The lumbar puncture usually means taking out of the cerebrospinal fluid from the L3 and L4 part of the lumbar spine. The second involves the testing for anti-ganglionocytes antibodies. The next involves the blood tests which are performed for detecting the abnormal sodium level in the Guillain-Barre syndrome. Now coming on to the treatment of Guillain-Barre syndrome. During the treatment of Guillain-Barre syndrome, the plasmapheresis is usually performed. Plasmapheresis usually means the removal of plasma from the blood without taking out the red blood cells. Intravenous immunoglobins are usually given, whereas incubation in the trachea are given through the mechanical ventilations. And moreover, in Guillain-Barre syndrome, the physiotherapy is also preferred.